I'm sure the other people's stories are more heart-wrenching than my stories because they were in it. They were stuck. They got tortured. I was there and I, I literally observed, I saw what they did to people. I knew that they liked me so much, that everybody liked me so much that I was going to tell them that I was gay. And maybe I was going to be that person that they went, oh, they're not bad people. I remember the day I went in there, I said, Gwen, I need to talk to you. And I said, I love you guys a lot, and I, I respect you, Gwen, but you need to know something about me. And she's like, what is it? I said, I'm gay. And Gwen's face literally fell to the table. Like, she was like, I think she was just like mortified that, it, that she had been fooled. And she literally pushed her chair back from the table and she stood up and she walked out of the room, didn't say a word to me. And Ted said, it's okay. He goes, we have four people here that we've changed. And I looked at him, I said, well, Ted, that's, you didn't change anybody. They were lying to themselves. You cannot change me. There's not gonna be any changing. And I said, I am a gay person. That is it. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's who I am. That's what God made me. God did not make you that. He argued with me for an hour. And then I, I went on a Saturday and all of a sudden I knew that they had started to tell people because more and more people stopped talking to me. Like the prominent people stopped talking to me. So I said, you know what, who cares? So I stopped going. And uh, no one ever said, no one reached out and said, hey, are you gonna come back ever? And no one ever did. So it was just kind of like, gone.